see it played squad battles, um, Spanish Civil War, Somos Sierra Pass 4, playing the Republican side, turn 3 of 15. Support exists. I need, I need to review how to use my support. Um, yeah, I do. Um, okay, so it's been rough going um, for this scenario so far. Um, but when I uh, have frustrations in games, you know, I, I'll be the first to admit nine times out of ten it's because I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing or I didn't do something I should have done. So um, there, I'm figuring out there are numerous things you want to do before you really either start the scenario or get going too far into the scenario. And so now I have another one. I've never done this, but I probably should use the F2 key and review the parameter data um, right at the start of a scenario. So um, with that, I can scroll down and where is it? Where is it? Um, there it is. Movement costs. Elevation costs 12 movement points per 10 meters. So from ground and a bunch of other costs. So there, at least I would have reviewed the, um, the movement uh, penalty for crossing those contour lines. Okay, so that's the parameter data. Probably good to review that uh, early on or before playing a scenario, or at least on a regular basis. Um, the other thing is taking a quick look at some other scenarios. I think that this this scenario does have. I think this does constitute pretty significant uh, terrain. Um, elevation wise because you have you have a lot of uh, between one and five hexes one see there's one hex between two contour lines so if these are 40 meter hexes you're going from 1420 meters there all the way down to 1380 meters um, well 40 meter height difference over 120 meters um, you know distance on the ground that is you know I'm just trying to picture that in my mind that's 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 significant um, and then you have a lot all over you have a lot of see a lot of places where I mean here you have three contour lines in four hexes so for this scenario, this is pretty uh, basically hilly, really mountainous, I think, terrain. Especially remembering back to the, there's the Joker again, um, remembering back to the scenario intro. Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm still going to try, try echeloning and also pushing forward uh, aggressively. Okay, so let's get moving here again. Oh, he's disrupted. Oh. Oh. So let's leave. Oh, actually, there aren't enemy identified here yet. So does that mean, so I, I have him selected. Yes, that does mean he can move forward. He was down, which is okay, because he's disrupted. But he can move forward because I guess there's not an identified enemy there. Now this guy is going to cross the the um, the elevation change, so might as well just stay on ground because it's going to be one hex anyways, I believe. That's what I was. Yeah, I think that's what I was figuring out earlier. Um, machine gun they go up what are they seeing so they're seeing both of those improved positions there and ooh, 
That's actually a good vantage point. He sees all of those. Uh, <laughs> he sees everything um, that is identified so far. Okay. Um, that was an accident. All right, so this guy is going to move here, and I don't believe he would be able to move up here anyways. So therefore, again, he might as well just stay on ground. He's going down. No, let's see. Wait, is he going down or up? I was, oh, he's going up. Never mind. So he'll just go across there too. He'll go there. No. Here. Okay. Goes there. He's got the mortars there. Okay. Here. Um, yeah, there. Okay. All right, uh, back here I gotta figure out that battalion leader. Um, he has the radio there. Um, what can he see from that point? Well, he can see the enemy there. He can see, I think he can see there. Actually, that's not too bad, so um, how does he use the radio? Oh, reliability D. Oh, that's a very, I think that's low reliability for that radio. Okay, um, how it is, all right, I'll highlight the leader. Oh, he's out of movement points again, so therefore he shouldn't, yeah. No valid leader or vehicle has been selected to call support. Okay. Let's try. Is this a valid leader to call support? I mean, how is, yeah, how is he going to call? All right. I'll, I'll wait for my battalion commander next turn when he was, is fresh on movement points. Okay, here, let's push on. Let's see here, oops. <laughs> there, they're up. Okay. There. There. Let's see, they moved here. They're up. There. There. Nope. Ah. So maybe that's just too, that was a bad route. With all those elevation changes, that was just plain bad route. Hmm. So let's see, all right. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Um, ooh, that, let's see if, see if I can move those guys, nope, can't. All right. 
Okay. Oh, I need to move these guys. Here, what did they? No, we still disrupted. Again, I. Th oh, they have the same. Um, you know, I'm just assuming that this leader can undisrupt that. Uh, whatever that is, section. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming. Um. Yeah, right. Oop. Um. Okay, I guess that's... nope, actually... What happened there? Okay, they're still good. They have the mortars. Oh, wait, they already moved. Okay. Now let's see... Now let's see what the uh, nationalists do. Oop, more, more troops showing up. That's, that should be really long range fire. Oh. Okay, so there's fire coming from the northwest there. Taking losses. So one of the things I I think I messed up is that when I was doing my initial route selection, I was uh, I mean I completely miscalculated the effect of moving over or crossing the contour lines. When I was developing my initial routes. I should have paid attention to moving um, along the contour lines and not crossing them. <sighs> All right, Republican turn four. Okay. Huh. Why does that keep unselecting? Okay. Now, first of all, can my battalion commander? call fire on that force right there or this one hmm this one's going to give me this one if I can successfully neutralize that force it takes care of this crossfire whereas these forces of course are on my line of advance and between me and the objective so well let's see what happens leader air artillery so do I I select like that oh call that's what I do call do I target now because the min delay is zero max delay is zero so target right click on map to target okay these are artillery not air um, one 155 millimeter IF, but it's the only selection there in here. Okay, right click. Oh, all right, that didn't work out so well. Um, Oh, 
there we go. Okay. Right click. Um, let's do. Yeah, right clicked. Well, that was way off. <laughs> oh my, that was horrible. What? Wow. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what to say there. Um, can I call in the other one? Okay, so select my leader. Leader, he has six. Yeah, you know, that only took. Oh, that only took eight. Call. So I guess that's. Assume it's not available. Call, target. Right click on map. <laughs> wow. Don't call those anywhere near. So danger close is like 200 meters. Yeah, like 200 meters. Okay. Um, go back. Yep, that was another eight movement points. Now, shouldn't be... Okay. All right. So I guess that's that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Um. Oh, okay. So I think where's the yeah? I think that squad uh, undisrupted recovered. Okay. Grab that one. That uh, half squad. Oh, and there they are. Uh, I think I try to move there into the uh, craters, and then down. Wow, he made it. So now here, why didn't? <laughs> All right, my uh, medium machine gun. Ooh, disrupted my machine gun team. Ouch! 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 Um, hmm. um, well, they're moving forward. Oops. Why did they not? Again, why did... Huh. How can they... The, oh, there. This, I guess I was t telling them to try to take the machine gun away from this, the crew there. All right, so they they made it. They, they're out of fire. They are out of fire. They're disrupted. Can they go? Oh, yes, they can. All right. Still push those troops forward. Okay, here. Hmm. They can't realistically do more than move on ground at this point. They have a fire left though. Can they? No, my own guys are going to be in the way. Yep. Well, that's too bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, wow, that hurt. Wow. All right. It's interesting. I thought disrupted units could not move. Uh, that's, that's, okay. I got, that's why I was mixing that up again. Of course, disrupted units can move towards the enemy because disrupted again is not a morale state. It's the, pinned and demoralized that can't move towards the enemy. 
disrupted units can move, it's just more costly. Okay. Um, oh, I got my mortar, so let's try. Yep, they're seeing. Okay, let's see. Let's see how the 50s, the 50 millimeter Mortero Valero works against the improved position there. Second fire. They have their own line of sight. Final. Oh, didn't do anything. That's too bad. Um, the leader, though, probably doesn't... No, leader doesn't need to stay this far behind. So, the leader... Now, yeah, I guess they'll stay down. Just move like that. Yep, one. Okay, so back here, um, let's take one squad there, take these guys here, okay, back here, oh, uh, darn, they can't see, what can they see, huh? they can see those guys way over there. range of 20 so they could actually hit the the clown squad over there hmm um yeah keep moving there okay so there 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 There. All right, so there's that formation. I guess they're down. Oh, yep. Okay, so see we got four squads there so let's take oops let's take uh, oops um, the leader there and one squad and then back here the other squads oops Oh. Yes, they're all, yeah, no, they're all the same formation. Let's take those guys. Yeah, okay. Can they get to the, no, they can't. There, then the squad back here. There, they're down. All right. All right, we got the green or ochre unit there. Oh, they have the, uh, the 81s. What are they seeing? Okay, so... Hmm. One mortar attack. Oh, that was nice. That, that was, but still didn't disrupt them. An improved position has a defensive value of eight. I guess that's pretty significant. Um, let's try pushing them.
still pushing forward here. Got another 81 back here. Hmm. Where can they see? See, they can see over there too. So let's do that. Um, let's see what they can do there. Nope, they're still. There we go. Now they're disrupted. Oops. There we go. So three 81 millimeter mortar attacks and we've caused a casualty and pinned them. There we go. So the 81s are strong enough, powerful enough to get pins in time to allow for assaulting infantry. Okay, that is something to remember. Um, these guys, they're all good, so what can they see? They can see those guys. What, yeah, because this is down, so they're looking across this draw there uh, to the edge of the village there. Um, Hmm. But then again, oh yeah, save effectiveness, that's what it is. Stay down, but actually they could move one forward. They stay in the, um, yep, visibility is fine. Stay in the craters there. Oh, the craters don't provide too much, but that's understandable. Okay. Now let's see what happens. See what the nationalists do. More forces appearing. I still didn't hold fire. But then again I'm moving. I don't know. What's the balance there? There's probably a balance there. Okay. Whoa, we got a big force coming from the west. <laughs> wow. That's interesting how they have Oh, never mind. Now they go to ground. <laughs> now they all go to ground. And... What is going to happen? Now we want to keep fire on that pinned unit there in the improved position right in front of my my western column there the aqua colored formation this is going to be an interesting brawl now with all these enemy appearing from the northwest and northeast Maybe we can get the off-map artillery into that formation coming from the northwest. Lots of fire there coming from the village, Somo Sierra. Ooh, a lot of disruption. 